Aloha world, guess where I am? I am in the jungle. This is a beautiful um, Belmont Botanical Gardens, uh, the tropical garden which is like in the greenhouse kind of um, setting. And I've wanted to come here so many times and every time it has been closed when I've been nearby. So finally the day is here. And why I use this um, today is that I take this time as my quality time with my inner woman uh, from the inner family archetypes. And I've used this um, for so many you know, things. I'll talk a little bit more about what you can do with your inner woman and how she can support you. But why botanical garden is especially good for the inner woman is because she likes lush stuff, she likes green stuff, she likes nature. And partly also your inner child, but she mostly is the one who wants to do anything with plants and flowers and, and especially if it's lush, like it is here. That's what she likes. Today is my special, you know, date day or date um, afternoon with my inner woman. So after this, I'm going to go and get my massage. Maybe I'll even go to the movies. So we'll see. But this is the quality time I'm spending with her. And um, it's very important that each one of us has this like regular date with yourself. Because when you do, very many things in your life will change. So... Let's look around. I don't know how good of the connection it is here, but um, so you get a little idea. And lots of uh, tropical trees and plants, which remind me of Hawaii and Mexico. And I feel always so good in those uh, places. And here, let me introduce you to the little dinosaur. So they have these little sculptures in memory of uh, different people and so on. And uh, this one is pretty small, but it's very cute. It has these little corners, lots of like benches where you can sit and meditate. I know that definitely before we leave this area, I will come and maybe make myself like a whole writing, um, you know, hour with my inner woman here. And uh, it also has some smaller areas where you have also little orchids. I know I have um, some friends who like orchids, so um, I've really tried to grow orchids myself, and I so admired how my uh, Mexican uh, healer friend had those around her house and was able to grow them so well. Um, that's one of the genes or stuff which I think um, my sister got from my grandmother. And uh, yeah, with the flowers, I like them, but it's been like a um, little challenge to grow them really well. So, and also my husband's really good with garden and all kinds of plants. So um, I hope that in our future, bigger home will have at least a little bit of this kind of greenery one day so you see it's very very green and let's meet another orchid here they have also this mist stuff going on here so so it's very beautiful always remind me of hawaii and um, on the hilo side there is a beautiful um, park botanical garden also i think the best in the world where there is a whole section of orchids and it's just so beautiful and just walking here with you and taking in all that greenery and feeling so happy it's just so amazing how um, it just really feeds and nourishes my my inner inner world so here's another orchid very beautiful another one so, and then just grow like this, you know. And they have done also these little ones here. You can see it's really cool. Um, just, and then there's a little waterfall here. I don't know how the connection is, but I see some people are watching. So, aloha. A little water element. And we also have some fishes. Beautiful. 
at the fall. And there is more of them here. So, yeah, very, very, very beautiful. More benches. One area there. And then if you like botanical gardens, what, what has your favorite been so far? And have you made a connection that this can be actually connected to your inner feminine? And if you haven't yet, do you, um, can you see the connection, how this can be connected? So here we have some swan sculptures, some more greenery, some more tropical bushes and flowers. There's not much blossoming here right now. It's probably the season of not blossoming much, but it's nice and green. And we also have another sculpture here. It's really cool. And a little sitting area there. Sitting area here. And then let's see, this one is Mary Howell Garden Club. It's a very cute little bench. So I'll do a little, little break here and let you all take it in. A little meditation, green meditation. And um, let me tell you a little bit more about the inner woman and inner feminine. So just yesterday when I was going to um, do my walk, my inner woman said, hey, Crystal, um, can you just take your spray bottle because um, there will be some loose dogs out there. So I have had so many experiences when I have these thoughts that I don't listen, but I did. I listened. And fair enough, like 10 minutes later, I saw the dogs. <laughs> and when I saw they were really big and like I didn't know like what kind of dogs these were, so I asked also my inner man to come in and protect me and guide those, you know, dogs to a different area. And he did. So, so that's like how that went and I could safely continue my walk. So dogs are a huge issue here in Texas. Um, you always have to be on watch. I'm still trying to figure out what's the best way to protect myself, um, do lots of energy work with that as well. Within a year I've been living here, I've had like um, miniature, but like 10 times when they got pretty close and yeah, we're not very happy. So um, I had to report many of those. Um, luckily in Texas, people take it seriously. And um, after those reports, um, those dogs in those houses have been uh, put inside. So, uh, so they haven't uh, bothered me couple of times it has been also a couple of times so then I report it again and as I know in some of the areas in Texas they may get the fine and then if they don't pay the fine they end up in court and you know you have to take responsibility as a dog owner so uh, so that was the incident from yesterday and um, my inner woman is always also helping me with my business so maybe in the future I'll do um, a mini course about how to increase your business with your intuition. And in my life, since I started to really co-create with her, I haven't counted it, but it has been thousands and thousands of euros. Um, she has helped me to create and put together really amazing, interesting things. And then also listen to, like yesterday, I got a really strong intuition saying like you have to contact this previous client and um, I did and really beautiful things came out of it. it was like really divine timing you know and your inner woman is also helping you with so many other things like you know emotional um, you know forecast like you know where to go when and where not to go and not to do things and in order to you know um, ask your inner woman to help you you really need to also nurture her and do stuff for her and with her so that she would feel like, okay, I'm important. So some of the things I do regularly, every day, 
if possible, when I wake up, the first 20 minutes I write. I write, I use this time as a channeling or downloading time for my inner woman, but also any other energies or consciousness which would like to, you know, download or uh, share their ideas or I need to process something, so I use it as well. So um, this way it has worked really well. Actually, tomorrow will be a three-year anniversary. I have been writing like this three years, no days like skipped. Can you imagine of the you know commitment there? So I have become such a calmer woman. I don't need to like bother with so many things. Um, my husband or even my best girlfriends or family. So I take responsibility and I you know go through these things with my inner woman. So. How cool is that? Like, she's my best friend, she's my best therapist, and I always listen to her. She always has lots um, to share and lots of tips and tools to give. The sad story is that most women and most men don't really do that. So another thing is, if possible, I go into the bath at least once a week. So this is my quiet time. Many times I'm even like in a dog bathroom no music, no nothing, just to really go into that nothingness. And that nothingness is a place where our inner women really like to hang a lot because that's where they get new treasures or new ideas. And sadly, again, many people's schedules are so full, there is no nothingness and no doing nothing. So uh, their inner women can't really like tell, you know, what's going on. So another thing I do is regular shopping. Like um, maybe I need something, just recently I got myself new shoes or maybe I need to just go like what's out there and just like really, you know, nurturing that part of being the feminine, which is basically to go and gather. So even if I go to a shopping mall and I don't buy anything, I need to do that like, you know, nurture that gathering checking things out you know maybe even trying things on me but it's just like part of that feminine part you know you need to nurture that as well and then of course taking care of my hair or whatever else um, I need to the new thing I implemented since April is once a month I go to a massage so today after this I will actually go to the massage so I'll get the massage, so I get something, I can indulge myself, I can receive something good, and then I feel, of course, more relaxed, and then whatever else I need to do later on will be easy peasy, right? So, and then you have to think, what are those things for you and your inner woman, so that, you know, uh, she can really, you know, figure out like, okay, um, I would need this, or let's do this, or whatever the case is, you know, and when we start to do this, our life starts to really change because you start to build a relationship, you start to heal her, you start to really like, like listen to her. She starts to also give more information because now finally you are listening to her. Many of you also don't know, but seven years ago, 1st of October, I actually got married to myself, meaning I actually did a ceremony, a ritual with friends, with the cake, with the music, with photographer everything and it was really beautiful celebration so I celebrated my inner man and inner woman getting married it was so big it ended up on the you know on the cover of the local uh, newspaper and some world news picked it up and I ended up like going to a tv interview uh, with someone else in Europe and so on so it seems like this is a new thing when uh, women don't find their men, they just start to get married to themselves. Like, why not? Who says you have to get married to a man? So when we went to one other interview later with my husband, this woman, of course, figured it out and is like, oh my God, you are like unfaithful because you married your husband afterwards. I said, no, because I have many loves so I can be married and have the marriage of my inner woman and inner man. And then that gave me the foundation which I built then, um, you know, my relationship with Michael. And that has been also one of the core elements. I don't talk about it very much openly because most people wouldn't understand that. But um, it has been 
one of the reasons why I think also we have lost it so long. So we just uh, celebrated the five year anniversary and knowing each other seven years, it's been the longest relationship with a man I've ever had in my life. So uh, really, really special. So um, what I would like you to do is, you know, think of, are you connected with your inner woman already? And if not, what can you do to get connected? I'll put again this beautiful inner family meditation below and you can, you know, open this up and do it at home and then figure out like, you know, how the dynamics of the inner family was. And then if you want to, you can even share your experience below this video. So I can maybe even comment or suggest uh, some other things. Many of the times, the inner family doesn't even show during the first time because you have been totally neglecting them, doing nothing for them or with them. So they're just so like feeling so insulted somewhere in the corner. So they don't even want to do anything with you because they want to see that you will be really committed to make you know a difference uh, happen. And why is this important? Like in today's world, you know, most people are so stressed. Mental health is an issue, so many other things. So what's really important is that we find tools and possibilities which make us calmer, make us feel included and also happier. Since I started to work with my inner family archetypes, my life has really changed. I'm so calm. I'm so content. I know where I'm going. I know that I don't need to like be, you know, extra afraid of anything. So I have my inner man with me. I have my inner woman who is also giving me intuition wise ideas where to go and where not to go and why, what to do and what not to do. Now I've learned to listen. So I listen right away. Not like when I'm already in the danger, you know. And the situation for many people is that basically, uh, the inner woman comes, knocks on the door, wants to leave a message, you are not home, maybe leaves like a little, you know, telegram or, uh, you know, a mail in the mailbox. And then when she comes back, maybe 500 times, and then none of that, you know, what she has left there has been used or open. She's not very, like, you know, motivated to come back again. So she's basically turning off her voice, she's not coming and then one day you find yourself that she's not talking to you anymore and that's the worst thing because we are all basically born to this life with this amazing gift box having our inner family in there an inner woman giving you guidance every step of the way your life and my life became so much easier and flowing and richer and fuller after I started to heal them and include them and it took me many years all together now probably 15 years so but it has been worth it so in my case when the inner woman comes and knocks on the door I open the door and I'm like wow you're here cool I just made those really cool almond cookies like um, let's go upstairs and let's have a little you know tea and let's like look what what else is happening I usually already have like a little notebook on the side and then I'm ready to write down if she has any messages or stuff. So uh, I write those down. I have already the inner man standing there and then I say, okay, here are the new things we need to work on and the inner man starts to work already. So, um, and then half of the things will get done by him actually already like uh, putting things into the motion. It may feel like, oh my God, Crystal, what are you talking about? This is like, uh, you are talking to invisible friends. Yes, I am. But if they are helping to make my life better, my relationships better, why not? And it's not only my life which has got be gotten better. It's also my clients have actually started to reach out to me after they saw all these beautiful, you know, results or even like manifesting Michael, my amazing husband, you know. So they like, I want this too. Um, can you help me? Can you guide me how to get to that? And then I just sat down and together with those people and those clients, we started something I call the Inner Family Coaching Program. The original one was like four months um, uh, long and it was like very deep. 
So now I've actually repackaged the one in English into 90 days so people can come on board, they can get used to and get to know their inner child. We start with the inner child, then we, we continue with the inner uh, woman and then with the inner man, and then we'll do the integration process. And then after this, really their lives have changed because now more opportunities will come because now they will listen, you know, when there is an impulse coming, they don't just like sleep or are lazy, they're taking action, you know, things are really shifting also with finances and possibilities because now your inner woman is also giving you ideas how you can use your, you know, um, beautiful talents or skills or knowledge or whatever it is you can do and contribute to this world. So you put all these things into work and it's like magic starts to happen. So um, that's what I want to give to you all on this beautiful Friday, wherever you are, with this beautiful, lush, you know, botanical gardens, together with my inner woman, who is saying aloha, by the way, and who really also, her wish is that more, you know, people would really contact their inner woman and inner feminine and also start to heal them and co-create with them. And once this happens, then so many magical other things will happen as well. So the inner feminine is very, very important in the world. It's the invisible, it's the things you can't touch, but it is something we are connected to. And once we start to really reconnect with that on a deeper level, then we'll start to really um, notice different, a difference. So, um, yeah, so if you have some questions or would be interested to have a guide on that journey uh, to figure out, you know, um, how to connect with them. Or if you know someone, who do you know uh, who actually uh, would need something like this? Uh, so let me know. That would be a huge gift um, to you. You will create good karma and then also a huge gift to the world because we'll get someone turning into a happy and really wonderful, magical, real fairy tale, as I call it. So wouldn't that be cool? So I see there are quite a bit of people here. If you're watching, please leave a little aloha. What was your number one takeaway from this uh, beautiful video? And if possible, also think of like maybe five people who you know who would really get the benefit of this video here. And this inner woman lives in everyone. If you're a man, you need that contact even more. You know, in relationships with, um, you know, others, that can also start to play a really amazing role. Like with me and Michael, I have a very special, you know, relationship with his inner woman too. I know what Michael needs, when he needs it, and I also know how I can also deliver a message, which is maybe a little bit more challenging, or if I want something, so um, how can I do it in such a way? And how can his inner woman help me? That's a little bit like, you know, higher level, kind of like PhD. We can get to that one once I get more people going through the inner family coaching, which I call relationship transformation process program. And then from there, I have so many other amazing opportunities you can do with me. Uh, right now, I have several programs totaling together like 10 to 12 months, um, like inner journeys to better your life. So how would that be? Like, think about that. So thank you for joining me on this beautiful Friday. Hope this um, really touched you and gave you some ideas to be brave and to also reconnect more with your inner feminine and take that time to really meditate or just take a moment and ask, what do you need, my inner woman or inner feminine? And then see if you can give it. And you can start even with just one little thing, like, you know, meditating in an afternoon for five minutes, just lying down, closing your eyes. That's also one of the ways to go into that nothingness, into that, you know, empty energy and into that unknown, which she so loves. So thank you very much. Lots of aloha. Please take care of your inner feminine because when you do, your life will change. So if you don't want to change, don't talk to her. <laughs> Bye.